And so we persevere with the messy paper. I do change it soon. Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and stuff. She does nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff and nails. Yeah. My friend asked if I did the same intro with my hands and what I say and just used the same clip for every video. No, it's all new, each one. Today is the 16th of December. It's actually only the 15th today. I'm very far behind. And uh, our Madame Glam advent calendar and our advent accent adventure. Accent nail, nail. So let's have a look in box 16. Oh, this is a good one. This is called Driving Home. Look at this colour. It's beautiful. Oh, is it blue? Is it purple? Is it a rich royal lavender? I don't know if there is any colour called royal lavender, but it's it's a blurple. It's more blur than pull, but it's definitely blurple. So we're going to do two coats of that on two nails, and then I kind of fudged things up I didn't fudge things up I just kind of wasted the beauty of this color because I cover it with stuff <laughs> but um, I'm sure it will make an appearance again soon also this is not festive it's not New Year's Eve -y. it's not wintry it's just I don't know just wasn't in the mood for any of that bored of that stuff so this is kind of just something else I'm going to mix, using the petal brush from Madame Glam, I'm going to mix some of the Perfect Black with this Driving Home. Is that what it's, is that what's there? Is that what it's called? I've forgotten already. And we're going to kind of marbly, not, not so much marble as just kind of pat. We haven't pat for a while, have we? Patty pat pat. So I'm going to patty pat pat some on here. And then probably patty pat a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. In no pattern whatsoever. Although I do always seem to start in the top left when patty pat patting things. And then I'm going to, it looks like I'm being a little bit brutal with the brush. I'm not. I'm being kind-ish. I'm going to dip it in some isopropyl alcohol, which is your prep cleanse. It's isopropyl alcohol. So that tends to be the main ingredient in prep and cleanse solutions and I did blot a smidge off a smidge of the wetness and then I'm just patting over the colors so they kind of kind of go a bit watercolory and that's it I'm going to do that on both nails I know I've just covered up that really amazing color I don't know what I was thinking this was the last from a, a batch that I filmed and I was just sick of um festive stuff wanted to do something a bit cosmic <laughs> So this is the Madame Glam uh, Chrome, Silver Chrome Gel Paint. It's amazing. You need it in your life. And this set is inspired by, well, it's kind of a, it's not so much a recreation, but it's it's closer to a recreation than an inspired by. Um, and it is Ash X McGrath. So um, I'll pop that on screen so you can see. And we're going to do moons and stars. And then, I don't know, are they suns? We'll watch and see. Let me know what you think. And then I, I've kind of just finished the voiceover now. That's it. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I wonder if... So for this moon, I started with a big C. And then did kind of... Just fattened up the middle, the body. So I did kind of a... a uh, what am I going for? Another C inside the big C and then fill in the gap. And then did I, I don't think I flash cured, but you can if you wish. And then we're going to do a dot and then pull up and down, uppity up, left, oh, uppity up, downity down, lefty left and rightity right. That's fun to say, try it. And then we're going to add some dots, which I think I do make a bit bigger. With this, um, 
what is it called silver chrome gel paint with this silver chrome gel paint you kind of want to especially if you're doing a big area which we'll see on the next nail a bit more it's good to kind of oh i'm gesticulating like a mad woman how do i put this that you can't see into words instead of leaving it with lots of brush strokes in you want to kind of smooth it all out and make it kind of even imagine if you were icing a cake with like runny icing you wouldn't want it do you know <laughs> why did i think of cakes did ice some snowflake shaped um biscuits today uh we'll see we'll see on this one we'll if this will make more sense so we're going to do um a semicircle in the top corner and then we're going to fill it in and then after i think after i've done some other stuffs then I'll go over this again to try and make it smooth and flat or just not have strokes in because it's go the chrome's going to look better if it's kind of if it's smooth. So while I'm doing the same thing over and over again in a min, should we ha oh we should have a lovers and haters. That means I'm going to have to stop and find one. Uh yeah, we'll do that. So now I'm going to do just little dashes we've got a short line long line short line long line short line long line short line long line. and we're just going to do that all the way around and then we're going to do the exact same thing in other places on the nail um, yes here so you see how it's kind of not smooth there so let's try and brush it out in and make it as smooth and i can't think of there is a word level it's that's not it but i can't think of it um as possible before we cure did i flash that maybe you can if you want i can't remember i don't even know my own name right now so we'll do the same we're going to do a full one here but just smaller and whilst we're doing that shall we have an episode of Lovers and haters. That's lovers and haters. Lovers and haters. Lovers and haters. Our lover of the day is Norma Gaitan, and it's in Spanish. I'm assuming it's Spanish. It looks like Spanish. Could it be Italian? I think it's Spanish or Portuguese. I think it's Spanish. <laughs> I think if I maybe if I read it really quickly, because it could go horribly wrong. If I read it really quickly. People might not notice how wrong it might have gone. <laughs> so, are you ready? <laughs> okay, she said, Hermoso diseño, me encantan tus videos, aunque no entiendo tu idioma. Con los comentarios me doy cuenta de que se trato, aún así aprendo de ti, bendiciones. How did I do? <laughs> I knew some of it, definitely didn't know all of it. So I translated it to, oh wait, where's the screenshot of what it translated as? Here we go. Beautiful design. I love your videos. Although I don't understand your language with the comments, I realise that I still learn from you. Blessings. That's nice. Um, so I did reply. Where's my reply? Oh, I don't normally share the replies to the, to the nice people, do I? Because they're, uh, they're not rude and they're the fun ones. But I replied saying, <laughs> this was left in March. So I just started um, Spanish on Duolingo. So I said, <laughs> Muchas gracias. Yo soy aprender español en este momento. El niño come manzanas. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm learning Spanish at the moment. The boy eats apples. <laughs> so that is the lover of the day. Should we? I don't really know what else to say about what I'm doing on the nails. Should we get straight to the hater? Let's take a second and... Um, do some nail stuff. Stuff with nails. Um, doing some dots. <laughs> um, we're doing some dots. I have to ask, what sort of nail designs are you... I suppose clients are still having Christmas nails. But techs or people who do their own nails are probably looking at New Year's now, aren't they? You know what you've got for Christmas on your nails. You might already have it. Um, so I don't know whether to kind of switch paths and go down a more New Year's Eve route 
with this set. Oh, I thought this one was looking a bit lonely without one of those sun type things. So we're going to add one on the bottom here as well. Sometimes when I'm filming, I'm so aware that I'm going to have nothing to talk about because I'm just kind of doing the same thing. And as much as I'm enjoying painting the nails, there's this just niggling thing in my head like, what are you going to say? But what are you going to say? But you're doing the same thing. What are you going to say now? What are you going to say now? <laughs> I never know what to say. So I suppose while I do this and then do some little strokes out of it, then we could have our hater. Shall we have a hater? Let's have our hater. Our hater said, and this was about, oh, this was on my video um, when the queen died and I did a little video. She commented on that and it said, Satan is on his toes now that she is home. I, I, I think you're using that terminology all wrong. Either way you look at it, it makes Satan look like a bit of a pussy. Because if Satan has to be on his toes for a 90-odd-year-old year old woman, I mean, I don't, I don't think we need to be that worried about him, do we? And I suppose maybe he would be on his toes because she was head of the Church of England, therefore, you know, she'll kick his ass. <laughs> She's been anointed by God. He fucking should be on his toes. You know, outweighs evil all the time. If she was so evil that she's in hell, surely he'd be like, oh, you're evil. That's fantastic. Do you want to, you know, take this in shifts? I could do with a day off. Haven't had one since the dawn of the universe. Been having hot flushes for billions of years. I'd quite like a trip to Iceland. See the Northern Lights. Perhaps build an igloo. The other, um way to look at this is just to completely ignore it based on her profile picture which I'm assuming is her holding a banner which says the blood of Christ is my vaccine uh no it's not <laughs> blurting it out on a poster is not going to change the fact that no it's not I don't care if someone is anti-vax I, I got my vaccine glad I did even if I didn't and I was protesting vaccines or whatever I'd come up with a better poster I believe in God, but come on. You're probably just talking about the bottle of red wine you have every night. You're not fooling anyone. Be anti-vax if you want. The blood of Christ is not your vaccine, Java Queen. It's just not. And the Queen of England, head of the Church of England, she was more of a queen than you'll ever be. You're a queen of fucking coffee, apparently. And your comment didn't work how you wanted it to. Anyway, I hope you like these. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Was it nice to have a little break from festive stuff? No snowflakes here. I will be back to more seasonally appropriate stuff tomorrow. Just needed to restore some equilibrium in my brain. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Me and my messy bit of paper will see you tomorrow. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.